Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can use a bead stamp command in Generated Sheet Metal Design Workbench in the software Kitia V5. So ta to start off, firstly open up the Generated Sheet Metal Workbench obviously and uh, the second thing is you need to have a sheet metal component to work on. So one thing you could do is you could you can open up a sheet metal component or else you could uh, create a basic sheet metal component to work on so you have set the sheet metal parameters to the same drill and select a plane and create a basic wall and now you have a sheet metal component to work on there are two methods to select the bead stamp one is by going to insert and going to the stamping option and here we have the bead option another way is to find it on the cutting or stamping toolbar so I basically don't prefer this way because uh, sometimes the toolbar won't be available so here we have the bead option so basically it's up to you which which way you prefer if you if you are a person who always keeps your shelf perfect then this would be a good option for you so let's just uh, get into the tool now all right so bead is basically embossing or engraving a particular bead on the sheet metal so the important part of this is uh, the bead the sketch which you use for using the bead should be an open sketch and another thing is if you have uh, multiple entities in the sketch then the the way the entities is connected should be tangential so those are the two ways and uh, I'll show you how these two factors are affecting our bead stamp tool in this case so select the bead stamp now we have the bead definition dialog box appearing and here you can go for the profile sketcher and we have the 2d view here and start giving some sketch so firstly we'll try a basic linear or a single line sketch we have the bead option coming up without any problem here so you could see that there is no much problem and we get the basic bead alright now let me delete this bead here and let me show you the problems that arise when a multiple sketch or a multiple entity appears in the sketch now edit the sketch here pull this a little backwards and uh, let's see now we have a multiple two lines in this particular sketch I have already mentioned previously that uh, if there are multiple entities coming in your sketch then the connection where you have the uh, multiple entities it should be tangential that was our rule of uh, bead option so let's take the bead option once again and again we are clicking on the bead here and here we get the profile selected is not continuous in the tangency so the rule according to rule the place where it's connected should be tangential there should not be sharp corners in this in this particular case to put it another way so I'll go for this option for creating the circle or else you could simply create a circle and constrain it with the tangency tool by using the constrain command I'll just erase all this come out of the sketch now and now again go for bead option the bead option is right here in this case 
we get the bid option without any error so we have followed the rule perfectly now another thing which you need to remember is that it should not be a closed sketch so let's just deal with that too again I'll delete the bead command and I'll show you by closing the sketch and let's just say if we had even a uh, tangential corners even if we had a tangential corners still the bead option wouldn't work because the rule is because the rule is for a bead stamp to work the profile should be open as you can see over here the profile selected is closed the bead option is not going to work so if you want this to work then profile need to be open so let's just try opening the profile and let's see if it works yes it works so this is how you can work on a bead stamp and let's see the different factors that are coming in the bead stamp the different parameters which could be changed alright so we have uh, we do have three options the, all the options are already mentioned over here one is the uh, radius one which is the radius that comes here and the second one is the radius 2 which is this particular radius here and the third one is the radius which comes down here that is the radius 3 you have an option to disable this radius and you wouldn't be having this curvature here and here so that's all about uh, the bead stamp in the generation sheet metal design workbench and if you have any doubts or clarifications regarding this tool please comment below the video and I'll be getting in touch with you if you have any project inquiries you can write to me at ketsia.pro.user at gmail.com I hope you're enjoying my tutorial series and stay tuned